Okay, welcome back everyone for week six of the 2018 NFL season, week seven in college ball. With that, we're going to pass you on to Billy Double Your Money B for his college picks. All right, what's up, everybody? You know the drill by now. Three and one again on the college picks, 18 and six overall. Still looking for that 4 0 week, so let's see what happens here. All right, my first pick, I got Notre Dame minus 21, UAB minus 16 and a half, Texas AM minus 2, and Virginia Tech minus 6. So there's my college week 7 picks. I'm going to send it to Gio right now for the NFL picks. And while Billy B was going three and one of those college picks, yours truly went 0 and four against the spread last week. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I just can't seem to get on the same page as the NFL script writers. We should have seen that one coming the Monday night or though with Drew Brees set up to set the record. Man, that that touchdown pass was wide open. Like it wasn't fixed. And how about all four of the rookie quarterbacks not only covering the spread, they won straight up. Especially the Arizona one. I mean Josh Rosen only completed 10 passes and they won on the road. Oh, well, you know, actually that's a good segue for my first pick as the Arizona Cardinals are now at Minnesota to take on my Vikings who are 10 point favorites at home. This is the first time I picked the Vikings in a, in a pick, a video pick all year. Obviously the Vikings, uh, it's a large spread. It kind of reminds us of that week three spread against Buffalo when it was 17. But you know, in that game, Minnesota was just coming off of the uh, that tie in Green Bay, that overtime tie where they should have won the game. And then they had the LA Rams going into LA on the Thursday game. It was kind of a tough spot for Minnesota. They played terribly. And you know what? I think Zimmer's fixed the problem uh, with the defense. And Minnesota owes their fans big time. So I think it's going to be a rout. So let's lay the points and let's take my Minnesota Vikings minus 10. The second game we're going to look at has Tampa Bay going to Atlanta where the Falcons are three and a half point favorites at home. The Falcons secondary has just been destroyed with injuries. This is not the same team that started week one when they, uh, they, they held the other opposing team to not very many yards against passing wise. But since then they've been like third worst in the league. Um, Tampa Bay comes in, whether I guess it's going to be James Winston as quarterback, which it should be, but they come in with a, the number one passing attack and that's going to play very poorly into what Atlanta is doing right now against the pass. Uh, Bucks might actually win this game. It's a divisional rivalry. The uh, Tampa's coming off the bye as well. Maybe they won't win, but that's a lot of points. Uh, the extra hook is important, so let's let's take those points and let's take Tampa Bay plus three and a half. The third game we're going to look at has the uh, where, where's my my page here? Oh yes, has the uh, LA Chargers going to Cleveland, where the Browns are one point dogs at home. You know, if you watch me over the years, it might be the third time ever I've picked a game involving the Chargers. Uh, in, in one of my videos is because they never do what they're supposed to but in this game it's pretty well a toss-up uh, the Chargers did win their first row, uh, East Coast trip I guess Cleveland's not the East Coast but uh, they played in Buffalo and they won but yeah Cleveland's a smunkier team uh, I give credit to Baker Mayfield I, I think he was the right pick at number one he's really got this team playing well and you get the extra point so you know what let's take the Cleveland Browns plus one and the fourth game we're going to look at has the Baltimore Ravens going to Tennessee where the Titans are two-point dogs at home. Just when you want to believe in Tennessee, they go and do what they did last week. But you know what? I think they're going to re rebound here. Baltimore's playing their third game on the road consecutively. They might be banged up a little bit and, and tired. I think Tennessee redeems himself and you get the points. So let's take the Tennessee Titans plus two. All right, my NFL picks last week went 2-1-1. One, and one. That brings me to 10-7-3 and three overall. Uh, I want to get better there, so let's see if we can start right now. First pick is the Giants plus three against the Philadelphia Eagles. The Giants are the home team on a Thursday night game. Uh, the home teams always have fared well on Thursday nights, and they are a home division uh, underdogs, and that's always fared well again for the home underdog, the Giants here. Uh, Giants have talent. Barkley's playing well. Odell and Eli are starting to get their connection back. Eagles have not played uh, like the team they did last year. There's something going on with them. Their offensive line is um, not playing great. So I like the New York Giants to actually win this game outright, but take the Giants plus three. 
Next pick, I like the Jacksonville Jaguars, minus three against the Cowboys. Jaguars um, taking a step back this year so far, uh, but their defense is still very good. The Cowboys' offense is uh, putrid. Uh, other than Ezekiel Elliott, they really don't have much talent. So uh, I think the Jaguars will be able to shut them down. They should be able to cover the field goal spread here. So take the Jacksonville Jaguars, minus three. Next pick, I like the New England Patriots, minus three against the Kansas City Chiefs. The Patriots are at home here, and they've had 10 days to prepare as they played on last Thursday. Uh, they've always, uh, on extra days, have always fared well in that game. Uh, they believe they would be able to come up with a good plan to stop the Kansas City high-powered offense, and they were going to be able to score points because the Kansas City Chiefs defense is not very good. Uh, I'd like Tom Brady to outscore the Chiefs here, so take the uh, New England Patriots, minus three. And my last pick, I like the Green Bay Packers minus nine and a half against the 49ers. This is the uh, Monday night game. I think the Packers are going to come out, just steamroll the 49ers here. I don't see how they have much of a chance with uh, C.J. Beathard at the quarterback to keep up with Aaron Rodgers. Um, Aaron Rodgers is going to just, I think he's going to throw for three touchdowns in this game. And uh, they're just going to win this game by, I think, uh, 17 or more points. So take the Green Bay Packers minus nine and a half. And there you have it for my picks. I'm going to send it to Geo now for the teasers. For the parlay, we've got Minnesota minus 10, Tampa Bay plus 3.5, Kansas City also plus 3.5. We'll throw them in there. They're at New England. I think they might even win that game. We'll take Cleveland, Carolina, and Tennessee each on the money line. A $25 bet will get us a whopping $1,437.23. For the teaser play, we'll tease Minnesota down to minus 4. We'll tease Tampa and Kansas City both up to plus 9.5, and, and Cleveland and Carolina to both plus 7. And we'll tease Tennessee to plus eight and a half. A twenty-five dollar bet will get us one hundred and seventy-five dollars. All right, my teasers on the air are one and three. I've lost the last three weeks, so hopefully we can get that back here. I really like this one this week. So the first pick on the teaser, I like the Packers minus three and a half, the Patriots and the Chiefs under sixty-six, the Bills plus sixteen, the Steelers plus eight, the Cardinals plus sixteen and a half. The Falcons and the Buccaneers over 51.5, and, and the Rams Broncos under 58. This is a six point teaser, and a $25 bet will return you $250. So good luck. Okay, and those are our picks for this week. Good luck to you. Don't forget to check us out on our Facebook page. Lots of great prognosticators. We also make last-minute plays. We make the 702 call and uh, other great things that we do there. Okay, for Billy B, I am Geo. Let's take the man's money. <laughs>